Water is draining from a right circular cone-shaped funnel at a rate of 0.05 cubic feet per second. The height of the funnel is 3 feet, and the radius at the top of the funnel is 1.5 feet. At what rate is the height of the water changing when the height of the water is 6 inches? We're told around the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. So the funnel looks like the right circular cone below, where we have the height and the radius of the funnel, and the volume is equal to 1 third pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the height. Let's begin by listing all the given information. Because the water is draining at a rate of 0.05 cubic feet per second, we know dv dt, or the change in the volume with respect to time, is equal to negative 0.05 cubic feet per second, or negative 1 20th cubic feet per second. Notice how it's negative here because the water is draining. Next, we know the height of the funnel is 3 feet, and the radius of the funnel is 1.5 feet, indicated by h sub funnel and r sub funnel. We're trying to find the rate the height of the water is changing when the height of the water is 6 inches. So we know the height of the water is 6 inches, but notice everything else is in feet, and therefore we'll have to convert 6 inches to feet. 6 inches equals 0.5 feet, or half a foot, and therefore h sub water is equal to 6 inches, which is 0.5 feet, or one half a foot. We don't know the radius of the water. We also don't know the rate at which the radius is changing as the water drains from the funnel. And our goal is to find dh dt when the height of the water is equal to 0.5 feet, where the h in dh dt, again, is the height of the water, not the height of the funnel. Because we don't know r or dr dt, we want to write the volume formula in terms of one variable by expressing the radius in terms of the height. And we can do this using similar triangles. If we look back at the funnel, the large blue right triangle is formed from the funnel, and we can think of this red right triangle as being formed from the level of the water. If we take a look at these two separately, the two right triangles are similar, and therefore the corresponding sides are proportional. Now looking at this, you may recognize that the radius is equal to half of the height, and therefore r is equal to h divided by 2, which is true, but we can also set up a proportion to express r in terms of h. Again, because we have two similar triangles, the corresponding sides are proportional, which means r is to 1.5 as h is to 3, giving us the proportion r divided by 1.5 equals h divided by 3. Cross-multiplying, we have 3r equals 1.5h, dividing both sides by 3, we get r equals h divided by 2. And again, you may have recognized this relationship just by analyzing the two right triangles. So now we know the radius of the water is equal to h divided by 2. We can express the volume formula in terms of h. Beginning with v equals 1 third pi r squared h, we substitute h divided by 2 for r. The square of h divided by 2 is h squared divided by 4. Simplifying again, we have the volume is equal to 1 twelfth pi h cubed. And now we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t. On the left, we have dv dt. On the right, we differentiate 1 twelfth pi h cubed with respect to t, which gives us 1 twelfth pi times 3h squared times dh dt. Let's go ahead and simplify here. 1 twelfth times 3 is 3 twelfths, which simplifies to 1 fourth giving us dv dt equals 1 fourth pi h squared times dh dt. And now we perform substitution and solve for dh dt, where we know dv dt is equal to negative 0.05, pi is a constant, and h, the height of the water, is 0.5 feet. And now we solve for dh dt. Let's first clear the fraction from the right side by multiplying both sides by 4 which gives us 4 times negative 0.05 equals pi times the square of 0.5 times dh dt. And now to solve for dh dt, we divide both sides by pi times the square of 0.5. And now we go to the calculator, which I've already done. Running to two decimal places, we have dh dt is approximately negative 0.25 feet per second. So to answer the question, at what rate is the height of the water changing when the height of the water is 6 inches, our answer is the height is decreasing at a rate of approximately 0.25 feet per second when the water height is 6 inches. As soon as the water height changes, the rate at which the height is decreasing is also going to change. 
I hope you found this helpful.